the present moment and emotions. Many people will be, are confused or will be asking if the pre, does the present moment constitute of emotions? And the answer will be yes, it does not only constitute of the emotions, but it constitutes everything. Many people will take present moment and even in meditation, thinking that meditation is getting disconnected to everything. It is not getting disconnected to everything or anything. It is becoming one with everything. When you deny something or you resist something, it persists. And one thing we have to understand is that uh, no matter how you deny your own emotions, when you deny your own emotions, you cannot become in the present moment, you cannot do any form of meditation because immediately you try to get in the present moment into meditation emotions arises that is the first thing which arises when you you become instead of stillness especially in meditation what rises first is are the emotions therefore the present moment const, constitutes not only of the emotions but of everything else Meditation is not the rituals we are doing of our thing. Meditation is a 24-7 thing. Seize ye not from praying. It is written. The Christian holy words. Therefore, the act of meditation is the act of prayer, is the state of being which is supposed to be something of 24-7. And it is not the state of being that is in denial with anything else. The state of who you, the state of being, of the being of who you are, is not attached, neither denying to anything, because it is one with everything. Therefore, it cannot get attached to one thing and deny another thing. Because immediately there is attachment to one thing. When you get attached to something, it means that you don't prefer the opposite of that. Therefore, the being you are is not attached to anything. Neither is it denying anything. When you are in state of meditation, emotions are there for you to acknowledge them. Actual meditation is not disconnecting from the outward reality. It is disconnecting from your physical mind. It is bypassing your physical mind. Present moment of stillness is the moment of bypassing, is that moment where you bypass you are reasoning mind, you bypass the physical mind. The physical mind cannot be present. That is one attribute of it. It is either past or future. When you become in the present moment, it is neutralized. Becoming to the present moment is not disconnected to the outward reality, but it is connected to the to your sensory perceptions. By passing the physical mind and you becoming one with your sensor, your sensor per perceptions, sensory perceptions, you become one with them. The five physical senses which are the ones giving data to the physical mind and physical mind computes out of judgments of out of what it has been told it is. Therefore, it's not connect, 
disconnecting to your outward reality. It is disconnecting from the reasoning mind and the physical mind. But connecting to your sensory perceptions. It is not disconnecting. It is only the disconnecting of the physical mind. The reasoning mind. Because that which we when you become in the present moment, you connect with the Spirit of God. Within. And as the Spirit of God within us, and as the Spirit of God is within us, and we have never, we are never even aware of that, it means that we are unconscious of the Spirit of God within us. Therefore, that which we are not aware of, that which we know not about, we cannot approach it from any physical concept, any concept of the physical mind. That's why we silence or we bypass the physical mind and become one with our sensory perceptions. That is to be present. And to be present, it means when you become that, you be to be present is to be in awareness and observe, experience that through and while you are experiencing that, observing that in awareness. When you are meditating and you are in stillness in your meditation, when emotions come, you have to acknowledge them. Acknowledge them, let them go. You cannot, the being of who you are, cannot be attached to anything. Therefore, if an emotion rises, you acknowledge it and let it go. Don't get attached to it because you get attached to it, you amplify it. Let it go. You, and you cannot deny anything. The being of who you are cannot deny anything. You can't deny the emotions. You have to acknowledge that. Do not get attached to them. Just acknowledge that them and let them flow, let them flow. When you acknowledge everything, when you are one with your sensory perceptions, whatever you hear outside, acknowledge and let it be. Because it is. When you are walking, whatever you see around you is out of the reflection of light. Yours is to acknowledge. Yours is is to acknowledge that reflection of light, because light is what God is. Whatever you see outside here, yours is to acknowledge. Not getting to anything outside, not denying, not, not attaching to anything outside here, not. Deny anything but acknowledge. The present moment is the moment of acknowledging. Acknowledging is re knowing. Acknowledging. It is the re knowing. Acknowledge. It is the act of knowledge. When you acknowledge something, you have brought it back into the act of knowledge that only God exists. So, you as is to acknowledge, is to know everything, to know, to know whatever is of light and to know whatever is of darkness. By acknowledging, Renewing and knowing all into the box of acknowledgement. You cannot deny your emotions. You as you every moment you got sixteen minutes, sixteen or fifteen seconds to react to your emotions. No more lifetime of that space of the allowable space to experience your emotions 
when triggered is 16 seconds. Immediately it reaches the 16 second, you have fallen. You cannot deny your own emotions. The emotions you, you think you want to deny or resist, let me tell you, they are who you are. Not unless you acknowledge and be at peace with them. They are who you are. You cannot become in the present moment if they are there and you can't acknowledge them. You can never. They, they are the pure spiritual part of who you are, the emotions. Therefore, they cannot be denied and none, none of the emotions can be gotten attached to. Just to everything is to acknowledge and let it be because everything is perfect as the Father in heaven is perfect. Everything is manifestation of God. Everything is reflection of light. It is ref reflecting God. When you are in stillness or when you are in present moment, yes, when you are triggered, don't think that, no, I'm resisting this, there are negative feelings of experience them, acknowledge that I am angry, that I am in fear. When you acknowledge, you are aware of what emotions are within you, you work upon them. When you deny what you, what you resist persists. Therefore, emotions is part of you. You have to experience them, but not getting attached to them. Experience and acknowledge them, not getting attached to them. Lest you want to confuse yourself, because if you deny any emotion, you are present to be to, to be in the present moment for you it will be a very hard task as immediately you become in the present if it's natural immediately you become you become relaxed the physical mind starts bringing things triggering emotions what about this what about that That moment you are in stillness, you have bypassed your physical mind. Let me tell you, acknowledge your emotions because you have already bypassed your physical mind. It's not your mind, it is who you are. It is the shit you have to work upon. You cannot resist them, you have to acknowledge, I am this shit. Therefore, I choose to be opposite of this and I acknowledge this.